Welcome back to our channel, where we take you on exciting journeys to different parts of the world. Today, we have a special treat for you as we travel to the beautiful kingdom of Bhutan in 2023. Join us as we explore the unique aspects of life in this enchanting country. Bhutan is a landlocked country located in the eastern Himalayas of South Asia. The country's central location in the Himalayas grants its stunning landscapes, including mountains, deep valleys, and lush forests. The capital city, Himphu, is situated in a broad valley at an elevation of around 7,610 feet. Our adventure begins with a breathtaking view of Bhutan's pristine landscapes. Known as the Land of the Thunder Dragon, Bhutan's commitment to preserving its natural beauty is remarkable. From the soaring Himalayan peaks to the rich green valleys, this country is a paradise for nature lovers. The kingdom offers a variety of outdoor activities. Visitors can whitewater raft in the Moshu and Fochu rivers or unwind in Bhutan's natural hot spring. Explore wildlife sanctuaries such as Jigme Dorji National Park and Royal Manas National Park. Hike through pristine trails such as the famous Snowman Trek and Druk Path Trek. Participate in cycling tours that take you through charming villages, ancient monasteries, and breathtaking valleys. And if you're seeking vertical adventure, you can even rock climb the towering cliffs of Dochula and the challenging peaks of Jomohari and Gangkar Punsam. As we explore Bhutan's towns and villages, one thing that immediately catches our attention is the traditional Bhutanese architecture. The houses, known as rammed earth houses, or farmhouses, have steeply sloping roofs sometimes adorned with intricate woodwork and are often painted with vibrant colors. The ground floor of these houses is used for storage and livestock, while the upper floors serve as living spaces. These houses also incorporate elements like prayer flags, ornate door frames, and beautiful windows with traditional patterns. Visitors will also see dzongs, which are iconic structures in Bhutan. They serve as administrative centers, religious institutions, and focal points for the community. Zongs feature massive stone walls, towering watchtowers, and intricately carved wooden balconies and windows. Before we continue, let's test your knowledge of Bhutan's traditional attire with this quiz. Which of the following are the traditional attires for Bhutanese men and women? 1. Go. 2. Kimono. 3. Sari. Or 4. Kira. Comment your answers in the comments section. The people of Bhutan are warm, friendly, and deeply connected to their cultural roots. You will often see locals dressed in their traditional attire, known as the Kira for women and the Go for men. If you answered one and four in the comments section, you were correct. The Kira is an elegant dress that is wrapped around the body and secured at the waist with a wide belt called a Kira. It reaches the ankles and is often accompanied by a jacket-like garment called a Wonju and a brightly colored silk or brocade Rashu draped over the shoulder. The Kira is known for its vibrant colors, intricate patterns, and exquisite hand-woven designs. On the other hand, the Go is a knee-length robe, like garment made of woven fabric, usually cotton or silk. It is wrapped and secured at the waist with the same belt that the women use and is folded and fastened with silver or brass clasps known as Kira hooks. The Go is usually paired with a white shirt underneath and knee-high socks. One unique aspect of Bhutan that sets it apart from other countries is its focus on gross national happiness rather than gross domestic product. Bhutan recognizes that true development goes beyond material wealth and includes elements such as mental and spiritual well-being, social harmony, cultural preservation, and environmental sustainability. The country conducts regular surveys to assess the happiness and well-being of its citizens, allowing policymakers to understand the needs and aspirations of the population. Bhutan's approach to prioritizing gross national happiness has gained international attention and admiration. It encourages other nations to explore alternative models of development that prioritize well-being and happiness over the relentless pursuit of economic growth. Education also plays a vital role in this country, with the government providing free education for all its citizens. The Bhutanese government is committed to ensuring that every child has access to education, regardless of their socioeconomic background, Bhutan's educational system not only emphasizes academic knowledge, but also values spiritual and emotional well-being. Schools incorporate meditation and mindfulness practices to foster a holistic approach to education. The curriculum incorporates subjects like mathematics, science, languages, social studies, and art. Teachers also receive continuous training and support. Are you ready for a challenge? Test your knowledge with this question. 
Bhutan is the only country in the world that, one, has the most rivers, two, is home to more than 3,700 species of butterflies, three, has 27 capitals, or four, is carbon negative. Leave your answer in the comments section. The country is known to be the only one in the world that is carbon negative, meaning it absorbs more carbon dioxide than it emits. If you commented four for your answer, great job! Bhutan's commitment to environmental sustainability and its pristine natural landscapes contribute to this achievement. Bhutan's constitution mandates that at least 60% of the country must remain under forest cover, and it currently exceeds that target with around 72% forest coverage. The government's development policies, such as promoting renewable energy, ecological conservation, and low-impact tourism, further contribute to its carbon-negative status. No exploration of a country is complete without exploring its local cuisine. The traditional dish, ima dachi, is a spicy chili and cheese stew that packs a punch. Other popular dishes include doma, a local version of betel nut, faksha paya, a pork dish cooked with vegetables, and momos delicious dumplings filled with meat or vegetable. Bhutanese cuisine often incorporates ingredients like red rice, buckwheat, dried chilies, cheese, and various wild herbs and mushrooms. The foods showcase a balance of flavors, influenced by neighboring countries like India, China, and Tibet, while maintaining their own unique identity. Festivals hold a significant place in the vibrant cultural fabric of Bhutan. These celebrations, known as Chekas, are deeply rooted in religious traditions and provide a platform for Bhutanese communities to come together and express their devotion. Chekas typically coincide with auspicious days in the Bhutanese calendar and are held in monasteries, zongs, and other sacred sites throughout the country. The festivals feature colorful masked dances, music, and religious rituals performed by monks and laypeople, accompanied by the joyous sounds of cymbals, drums, and horns. Each teach has its own unique significance and is associated with specific legends, stories, and historical events. The most popular one in Bhutan is the Parachechu, held at the iconic Para Rinpong Zong. While the country still remains deeply rooted in its traditions, it has embraced technology to enhance its development. Efforts have been made to provide internet access to rural areas, improve telecommunication infrastructure, and enhance digital literacy among the population. However, Bhutan's approach to technology is mindful of its cultural values and the need to preserve Bhutanese traditions and spiritual practices. The government emphasizes the responsible and sustainable use of technology, ensuring that it aligns with the principles of gross national happiness and supports the well-being of its people. The country's commitment to preserving its culture, protecting the environment, and prioritizing happiness provides valuable lessons for the world. Take a moment to reflect on what brings you happiness and contentment. Share one thing that brings you joy in the comments, or share what lessons you have learned from Bhutan's isolationist way of life. Let's create a virtual space where we celebrate the small things that make life meaningful. Your reflections can inspire others and foster a sense of global connection. Our exploration of Bhutan's isolation and way of life in 2023 comes to an end. We hope this journey has enlightened you about this remarkable kingdom, its unique approach to living in harmony with nature, and its continuous commitment to preserving its cultural heritage. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures. Until next time, keep exploring.